owned and operated, Lynn Ladder has been dedicated to providing high quality products and services to the New England area since 1946. With six locations, from their manufacturing plant in New Hampshire to their rental yard in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Lynn Ladder is the one-stop shop for all your new equipment and rental needs. Lynn Ladder has catered to contractors and homeowners for the past 72 years. Have a project, big or small? Then call the Ladder King today at 1-800-225-2510. What's your prediction on the series? Obviously Bruins. All right, how many games? Five. Five games? What do you think? Five. Five. D does Boston play St. Louis in everything? Baseball, the Red yeah. Sox? I tried to. Really? All right. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta give them the national stage once in a while, you know. We're gonna kick their ass, I think. I think we're gonna sweep them. Let's go into a title town. I mean, Boston, like, this will be three teams if we win it this year. Patriots, Sox, and the Bruins. I mean, What's up Boston's with that? the city of champions. We're gonna win. Uh, you know, that's nothing else to say. Is that why everyone hates us? Yeah, probably. So what is I Love Mondays? I Love Lucy. You love Lucy? Yeah, but you look like I Love Lucy, I Love Mondays. What is <laughs> I've, heard, I love I've, Mondays? Heard that. I've heard that before. Yeah, what you got to check us out. Where's our, can you give her a card? Yeah, what is I Love Mondays? Social media brand. I'm Mr. Monday. Oh. You never watch my show? Uh, well, you guys live under a rock. We have social media gurus. We don't do uh, you got to look us up on Instagram. Let's right, go. So we're we're it. What do you think? We gotta kick ass tonight? Ruins at six. Nice tank top, huh? Like, oh, you gotta get some it. muscles for that, though. I know, I'm working on it. I'm, I'm not as big as yours. I'm only kidding, you look good. You're looking good. Well, uh, what's going on? What's up with the hair? What do you mean, what's up with the I hair? I like it. It's a Guido look. I like the Guido look. I, hey, I got the Guido look, too, but I'm a little older now, you know? <laughs> Apparently, the Bruins and Blues each scored 57 goals throughout their first three series. And in the first period, they each scored 16. Second period, each scored 16. And third period, each scored 24. And both top lines each have 22 goals. Come on. Isn't that ridiculous? This guy's a power lifter. Look at this guy. This so, is a what? A power lifter. He's a power lifter. Yeah, you are. Power lifter. From Monday. Well, Monday. It's Monday. Oh, I like that. Mr. Fucking Monday. Today's Monday. Monday. How, are you doing? Yeah. How are you guys doing? Hey, good go, luck in the series. Thank hey, you. Hey, luck. hey, what a hairdo you got. Right, Let's man. talk about your hairdo. Talk about my hairdo. It's looking good. Look at this guy's hairdo. Is it? Look yeah. Good. Looking good. Looks good. It's looking like yours. Who does your hair? Um, you do it yourself? Yeah. You're a hairdresser? Yeah, no. Yeah. Are you guys hammered? Not, not, yet. not yet, not yet. The last time I saw you were drunk, I see you What, I gave him on Saturday night? No, yeah, I know, so were you. You were see, you were it. Hey, you were pie-eyed. <laughs> and you weren't? No, I was you... drinking ginger ales. <laughs> no. Oh, come on. Who's the money that drink ginger ales? Look at this guy. Let me tell you something, Monday, Gene. Tonight is game one, and I got one question. I got one question, St. Louis. And that's what you're gonna do! What you gonna do when Tuka Mania runs wild on you? Yeah! Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much. How was this whole experience? It's really good. I've been doing this for three years now. Um, I went to Massachusetts level and then I'm hoping to do Maine next year. You look like a gymnast. No, I was a dancer. Okay. Yeah, maybe that's that. Awesome. Now what kind of slut butts do you smoke? These are camels because I had to buy them here. Yep. You smoke them too? Yeah. Are you guys drinking without any cups? Well, what's that? Did you make this? I did. I made it back in 2013. That's awesome. Where'd you rollerblade from? Uh, from Charlestown and all over Boston. Been skating around throughout the last four hours. I don't really remember where I started at this point. You're one of the Hanson brothers, huh? That brother, I look just like Jeff Hanson from the movie Slapshot. Woo! Hey, Trying to get a bear over there at Sullivan's Tap. This place is mental. You love the jacket? How much you need? How much you need? Two thousand? No, 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 no. Three thousand? How much? You, you'll give me how much for the jacket? Hundred dollars. No, oh, that's. It's got to be thousands. 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 This is custom. This is custom. This is a custom jacket. I'm in my ones. I'm not even in my fives right now. I didn't get in my fives. It was something the jacket. <laughs> I'm a yoga guy, though. I'm a yoga guy, yeah. yeah. I like yoga. I was there today. What's your favorite position, yellow dog? That's uh, what I like happy baby. Oh, not child's pose? No, child's pose, no good. That's good for a girl. I can't even do a split. Kluski, get her info. We want to send her a yeah, shirt. Yeah, send me a t-shirt, because I love Mondays. I'll miss Monday of the week. We're going to send you a t-shirt. All you have to do is give us your address. Yeah. All right, that sounds a little creepy, but I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. We love Monday.
Kyle on Monday show. I'm Kyle on Mr. Monday. It's good to be back. We had a week off last week. Uh, I'm like feeling how, nice and refreshed. Like how I left you hanging right off the start. I know, and you're yeah. going through your hair and yeah, stuff. You got, what, you put olive oil in that thing? Jesus. Yeah, I'm Italian. That's yeah, nice. So I got Donnie Zolo with me tonight. Give it up yeah. for this guy. Yeah. Zolo. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm fucking psyched to be back. Right. Did you see the uh, video? Last week, you're supposed to meet us in Boston. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I would have met you in Boston if you guys got back to me in a timely manner. You, it was like, oh, yeah, the game starts in about 12 minutes if you want to come down. Like, well, yeah, all right, I'll You're be there. You're the biggest Boston fan in the world. You know what time the game starts. I know what time the game starts, but when you say I'm just at the garden, doesn't, it's kind I, of a big place. I'm going to look at my text messages, and I'm, we're going to see the times and yeah. stuff, because it was like 4-12. When I sent the initial message, right. and you reply back at like 740 or something. When's the last time you've been on Causeway Street? Throwing a Bruins game? Have you seen it in there? I didn't even recognize. I mean, Klusky, that people were out of control. There was a lot of wackos out but there. But I felt like I was in Vegas. Like I didn't know where I was. Guys roller skated in from Cambridge. You thought you were crazy. in Vegas? Like what? Like the, the the landscape? Like it was so crazy looking? It just what? No, but like the way they have the it's like inverted the 150 Causeway. It's like inverted now, and there's like an escalator. It's like, I don't know if you saw. It. It's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, it's, it's fancy. It's nice. Yeah, so we're, we're, moving, we're moving up. What do you think about the bees tonight? They're up two games to one. Uh, I have total confidence, which makes me feel that they're going to lose. Because I'm like, I, I think they got this now and they're taking it in five. <laughs> and if you talk to me after game one, I was like, this series is over. And after game two, I was like, oh, my God. This, this is going to be a dog fight. So they, they kicked I, ass Saturday night. Yeah, they did. Uh, I had a show while the game was going on, but I was getting score updates. And uh, even though they, we'd occasionally break in with like uh, good news, like "Hey, two nothing, three nothing," it just was not turning this crowd around at all. It was the biggest. How many hecklers shit. did you have at your show this week? Uh, I wish there were hecklers. They, unfortunately, they were even worse. They were these people. <laughs> Real serious jokes. Oh, it's fucking brutal. That's the worst. I'd rather have high energy negative shitheads than no energy. Jesus. It was, yeah. What's the matter with these people? I, I, they didn't know what a gift they were being given that night either. <laughs> Klusky, how you living, huh? Is that your transition, a high-energy shithead? Is that <laughs> you I'm look different. Good. Why do you look different? Are you in setups or something? No, I just have a bigger hooded sweatshirt on than I normally wear. You look wear. less fat. i got to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look kind of hip. Thank you, man. This is, a, this is a, a tank top and a hooded sweatshirt. I'm all dressed up for the occasion. I want to look handsome for you. So don't you have a venue Friday night? Yeah. Uh, we got this new setup for Friday night. It's, a, it's, a, it's not an open mic. We're going to have some killers there. There's going to be a showcase. But if you are an up-and-coming comic and you want a couple minutes on a Friday night, we know how it is. We know how it is coming up. We'd like a couple guys to come in there, play some audience, and we might get four or five minutes or whatever. But the venue is beautiful. Where is it? It's the Italian American Club in Lynn. Yeah. Oh, that's the greatest place in the world, by the way. It is. What's the address there? 93 Harbor Street. Oh, man. It's going to be so Lynn much fun. Mass. I lived at 93 Old Harbor in Southie. Really? Yeah. They threw you out of there, huh? Yeah, it was a, it, I was glad to get out of there. It was a shithole. Was that before Southie got like real popular? No, it was. Uh, it was. Uh, I was at the uh, early stages of Southie getting popular. Yeah, and it still did me no good socially. Kind of what happened happened with the comedy too, huh? Yeah, I, I got in just as it was <laughs> taken off, and everybody else around me got up and it exploded. Grandfathered in. Hey, yeah. so Friday night that'll be great. Yeah, it's gonna be a party. Come down. I'll pat you on the back. You can watch me drink whiskey. It's a good time. Who is Miss Monday this week? Miss Monday this week is Kitty. She's a former pastry chef. Now? She owns and manages an entertainment company as well as designs clothes. She's currently working in the electronic dance music field. I, I don't know the what specifics that? of that. I hear it's huge. I'm an old man, but she's been living in Tampa for the past seven years. She grew up in Baltimore. This lady has a lot going on. All right. She's a very beautiful woman here. She's Miss Monday. And as always, Miss Monday is brought to you by John's Roast Beef. John's Roast Beef has the best sandwiches, dinners, plates, and tacos. Uh, dine in or take out, 781-595-6105. And if your kid is able to graduate high school, <laughs> get them a couple platters for a graduation party. Yeah, and Tasso will give you a really good deal on those platters, too. Yeah. And Miss Monday, so I talked to her. She has uh, um, apparel company. Yeah, I heard about this. So I was like, listen. I, <laughs> I, uh, I'm privy. <laughs> so, like, I, I have a, there's a couple girls who want you know, bikinis and bathing suits. So I'm like, can you make us bikinis and bathing suits? She's like, well, my sewing machine's locked up for a month. I'm like, what? What do you mean? So she's like moving. She actually sews. Like, who sews anymore? My nana. My mother. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no one even sews anymore. The people of Santa Poco. It's a, it's a tough business model when you have to sew all of the clothing. That's right. I was pretty impressed by that, though. And yeah. she's not that old. She's young. Well, it's really hard. You have to push a piece of fabric underneath a needle. 
No, that's not what y'all used to use in a needle fog. Come on, you don't. You, you think my mom made those Superman costumes I wear here? <laughs> All right, let's go right and shoot the shit. Bullseye. Matador is gored in the buttocks by a raging beast at a Madrid festival. Yeah, you got to be careful if you're Googling this, because if you look up uh, Bull oh. Destroys Guy's Ass, you're going to get a different video than what oh. we're showing. <laughs> this is a matador who got the bull's horn right in his butthole. And this guy, he is in a hospital right now. He ruptured things. Something's broken. That's what happens when you turn your back Rest on a big horn. Jesus, that is bad. Oh, his butt's bleeding. That's worst case scenario. Jesus. Imagine that. That's gross. Yeah. Did you ever have your butt ever bleed, Don? I mean, I don't really want to <laughs> put you, you on the spot, but... I'm, I'm, I'm bloodless in uh, the North Shore. Really? Yeah. No. I, so I the South Shore is where you got it? Do they make <laughs> maxi pads? <laughs> we, we should make maxi pads for matadors, because this is probably happening a lot, right? Just say this guy's 26 years old. He looks like he's 46. These people don't age over there. Probably. How big was it? Like the horn? The, 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 well, <laughs> how big was the cut? <laughs> they go we don't call it that. It's called a, a rectum. We're trying to have a clean show here. The cut? Yeah, I said how big is the cut? Yeah. Oh, okay. You mean the incision from the horn? I don't know. It was it was bigger than a fist. Look at that thing. It's going in. He got him. stitches in his bum? Yeah. <laughs> and his boyfriend asked the doctor to throw in an extra three. Oh. Uh, Donnie, I bet you'll know the answer to this. Do you think that that bull is gay? Because you can pick it up. <laughs> but I, th think I think it's a heterosexual bull that's just out he's experimenting. Mad. He's just experimenting. That bull's like, he's in bull college. <laughs> why, why wouldn't they like have like a pro something protective over the groin area and the behind? Well, like, I think it's, it probably goes back to tradition. Like they didn't do that in the 1700s when bullfighting originally started, according to this story I just made up. Right, but I mean, things have changed. I mean, you gotta change with the times. Protect your genitals. Oh, God, you, <laughs> you, you stop wearing protective uh, Protective gear on your nuts for fighting bulls. Next thing you know, you're splitting a salad with a what, guy. What's that thing weigh? 2,400 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> that thing weighs like 2,400. The guy's gonna shit horn for a week. Look at, you know, by the way, look at all the blood on the bull. Like, I, that's, like, is what? that from his bum? I yeah, thought that. The that's, what I was always thinking was that, like, the way you killed the bull was you stabbed the bull, like, in the head to, like, end the game. Yeah. It looks like they're, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. It looks like maybe that guy was just having a little fun before, like, she, she. Or he's trying to kill him, like, with a sexually transmitted disease or something. I don't know if that was his oh. way. He doesn't Over have a long sword. Call? Yeah, it's a long, <laughs> this is a long con. This guy's winning in the end. This guy's like the Komodo dragon of uh, bull. Donnie, does a video like this get your juices flowing? No, it doesn't. It, it, no. it, it stops my juices very much in the tracks. My erection has gone down since this show yeah, I started. Get it, I get an innie when I see this stuff. I only have like a three-quarter husky. I started full mast. <laughs> you got a growler down there, I heard. A growler. All right, let's go to the next one. You know who taught me the word growler? Matt O'Neill, Blue Ox. Matt O'Neill, Blue Ox. Good guy. He's afraid to be in the meatball contest. All right, let's go to the next one. <laughs> he is. I'm not kidding about that. Is that guy, an Italian men's auction? What is that? We'll talk about it later. End of the show. Guy sets himself on fire outside the White House. He dies and had 85% burns all over his body. That's typically what happens when you burn yourself. Arnav <laughs> Gupta is a man who was filmed setting this himself on fire. This is, yeah, it's absolutely out of control. The 33-year-old had been reported missing by like his orange. family earlier that day. If you're 33 years old, how does your family report you missing halfway through the day? That's what I don't get. Yeah, like you're gone for four hours and they <laughs> reported you missing. It almost makes me think that there's something even weirder to this story that we don't know about. Absolutely. But that being said, I'm like, they said he didn't even have protective gear on, right? He was just calmly walking across the lawn like he's practiced this over and over again. I would have been screaming like a little girl. I don't yeah. know what... It's I gotta say, I was impressed with the Secret Service. They were on top of that guy in under 20 seconds putting fast. him out. Like, and I, if I took the call, they'd be like, yeah, there's a guy lighting himself on fire about a quarter mile away. I'd be like, it sounded like you said somebody's lighting themselves on fire. And I, I wouldn't know how to react to that. They were there in 15, 20 seconds. Look at his incredible. arm. It looks like he has like a, a wool coat on, but that's his skin like f melting. It's Ugh. disgusting. I see wasted potential. This is a guy who's willing to commit wholeheartedly to something he believes in. And I have no what idea he what he believes in. That's the thing. What, what does he believe in? I think he's like big he Pink being Floyd a fan. Lunatic. He's just a big Pink Floyd fan. <laughs> yeah, I don't he, know what he's doing. The only thing I can think of is that with USA on the shirt, he thinks that he's like, I'm burning down the USA or whatever. I guess. Like maybe. I don't. Like, I need a, I need a sentence or two. You know what I mean? Give me a caption. He thinks he's making a statement. And I really, I'm himself. not a big fan of manifestos, but I feel like if you burn yourself alive. Yeah, you, you've earned one. You've earned a manifesto like yeah. you have. Like you should, the manifesto should be left in your bedroom. 
so that they come and discover it, and then we talk about your manifesto. Absolutely. What country was he from? Um, that's a good question. His, I, I, I could barely pronounce his name. Jesus I'm Christ ignorant. Christ. I don't know. I mean, imagine what he smells like. Now? You now, Brandon, this is going to be disgusting. <laughs> really? Look at how calm he looks in that picture. Listen, he has an it's American, sh- USA shirt on. He's outside the White House. I mean, he's was trying, he trying to, be, to get totally shot. Famous. Was, trying that, to get famous. was he trying to get shot? Yeah, he is that like the go- on the bright and side. And why didn't they shoot him? That amazes me too. Like if he lived, they wanted himself- to burn to death. Oh, he- oh, this wasn't the White House lawn. That's right, right. It's it's like it's like a half a mile from the White House. Okay, I was confused though. All right, well, you know what? He's dead. And That's what he deserves to be. Now he's got an extra hundred Instagram followers. So, <laughs> <laughs> latest weight loss. Cr- wait, excuse Deep me. breath. Sound it out. Latest <laughs> weight loss craze uses light therapy and infrared heat. I mean, does this stuff really work? I doubt it. So basically, they wave some laser wand that heats up some temperature, like almost 200 degrees Fahrenheit, internally in your body, and it supposedly melts fat. Which I don't understand where it goes. It's gonna be dripping on your fucking. Why do organs. you have to work out then? If it's if the laser is doing all this bullshit, I should be able to lie there, like, like. I think it's you just have to wiggle back and forth so the laser doesn't hit your penis. That's the only thing that you have to be concerned with. It burns over 400 calories a minute. That's 600 what, calories. 600 calories a minute? I'm sorry, in a 60 minute session. Oh, I'm more so focused on You know what else burns 600 calories free. in 60 minutes? Working out. <laughs> yeah, what about like working out, eating right, you know, doing it the normal way? These, these fads are ridiculous. If that was 600 calories in a minute and it was like you go in there for 20 minutes and it's like, oh, look it, I just lost like 12 pounds of fat, I, I, I might actually sign up for that. I feel like but this sounds like. You could have just gone to Tybo. You these, wasted the same amount of these time. These people do these like fads. I think they would do just about anything, like drugs, alcohol. You know. You know what's funny is they if they just looked at getting on an elliptical as a fad, they'd all be fine. Yeah. Right. Oh, you just get on this thing. You whip your arms back and forth. These thing, you know, Tony Braxton. You do it an hour a day. It has great results. Yeah, something that's, that's two hundred degrees. You're not going to lose. Of course, you're going to lose weight. I mean, it's of unnatural, course. but it makes no sense. Actually, um, you deserve to get sick. Skip that. What are you going to say, Klaus? I can't remember his name, and I had a witty comment that I'll say for after the show. Okay. Bonus content. Patreon. All right. All right. Let's go to this next one. Kellogg's employee filmed himself pissing on cereal in a production line. He gets thrown in jail for 10 months. Yeah, that answers the age-old question of who pissed in your cornflakes. Gregory Stanton is the answer. He pleaded guilty in November to tampering with the products. He's 49 years old. He works in a Memphis facility. He uploaded footage of himself urinating on uh, Raisin Bran, Rice Krispies, oh and God. puffed rice Listen, He videoed it. No wonder he got caught. He's been jailed for 10 months as a result of What a stream of piss breakfast. he has. I didn't even think it was that good of a stream. Well, that's actually, that's decent. That's a good that's, stream. That's a solid <laughs> stream. I wasn't impressed at first, but now. What, what are some good names for like Rice Krispies with piss on them? Like Rice Pispies? Rice Pispies. I mean. <laughs> Snap, Crackle, and Pea. <laughs> Very Rice Mushies. Rice Mushies. Golden Graham's Dirty Urine So sample. he videoed his own stuff, so he definitely was doing this before. With I mean, Maybe he videoed other times too. Yeah, but I, I just don't. I think that when you videotape yourself, you are asking to get caught. Like if you're setting up a video camera for yourself, you're saying, I want to get caught. He wanted to get caught for some reason. I, so I, will, I will disagree with you almost in a devil's advocate point of view. <laughs> but when you upload it to fucking YouTube, that's literally yeah. asking to, that's that's more than asking to get caught. Now, that's turning I gotta yourself say in. This, that's I turning think, yourself in. I don't know. I, I think they nailed the punishment. I think 10 months was fair. I thought 10 months was great. I don't want to see this guy going away for 10 years. Well, you know how much urine this guy's going to drink in jail, right? Three liters. There you go. <laughs> you know that he, you know he's going to get a job in the food service when he gets out. He's going to piss on something again. Let's just face it. So do you have any uh, recommendations from your previous job? But I'm saying, what's, <laughs> he, so, this. Fuck, not what's he so fr- freaking mad about? He's mad at his boss. He hates his job. He's like... I think that know. everybody's just... A lot of people are just angry at the world, but you, you're taking it out on the wrong people. You know, it's like a food terrorist. It is. Yeah. It's just Im- I like can an never ambiguous eat, like, attack on little kids. I might have eaten that. I like That's the other thing, too. Yeah. It's, it's a, a child based food group. Like, yeah. most people eating cereal are children. Exactly. Cocoa Puffs and, like, Captain Crunch. I'd like he's, to see he's what attacking the youth. Specifically, which, which cereals he pissed on. I have a list here. It was Raisin Bran, Rice Krispies, and Puffed Rice Cakes. I'm That's, pissed on Raisin Bran. I hate the, those he, things. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's two adult cereals. Uh, That's three batches. My grandson eats Rice Krispies, okay? What if this guy pissed on my grandson's cereal? You have every right to pee in his mouth. Okay. <laughs> and upload it to YouTube. 
Japanese man tapes up his wife and kicks her after he found out she was putting insulting comments on his YouTube videos. We all know how hard it is getting a YouTube page off the ground in 2019. This 44-year-old had been trying to do it. He had been putting in some effort and he had been making some leeway. While he was doing it, some troll started harassing him and just kind of knocking everything he was doing, pointing at all the stupid stuff he was saying. And after a while, he realized it was the woman he was fucking, his wife. Uh, she was the troll, and he handled it by tapering her up and karate kicking her. I mean, his content Was it sucked. a karate kick, or are you taking some liberties with the ethnicities? <laughs> oh, I, no, they were... He, he was Japanese. He's from Japan. Perfect. It would be ninjutsu. Don't get me... I, I, don't start with me on kung fu. I know everything. Uh, all right. At least he was getting comments, even the bad ones, because, you know... Yeah, it, negative comments. That's going to help the algorithm here, okay? Exactly. It helps your alg He's algorithm. He's sensitive. Again, it goes to what I said earlier. I would rather the negative energy than no energy, you know? Yeah. They don't teach you how to handle your emotions in karate. They just teach you how to break boards. It's hard to blow up these days on YouTube. Well, I, here's the thing though. I'm one click away from wanting to see this guy now and I'm, what's his name? I have no idea. Who Flung Poo, I think. Is that wasn't the interesting part of the story, it's so it, I didn't it write it didn't down. mention his name? Because I want to give this guy a shout out. Like, I, I want to stop following him. I want to see what, what drew the ire of his I life. I want to follow her. I don't uh, care about the guy. Oh, God. What a kick in the balls that would be if she blows up She's going to blow up. She's the one who's funny. She's the <laughs> one who did it. And he's and he was sentenced to jail? Ah, uh, yeah. He's going to get us. He's going to do some time. And I don't know how... I don't know anything about Japanese court, but... You uh, don't know anything about Japanese court? No, but the... I spent my junior year abroad learning about that. Really? Mm. Japanese court? Yeah. I'm fucking wrong. Joking. We kid. We bust balls here. Break balls, you might say. So anyways, oh. I, this kid, this guy wanted to be Justin Bieber. His content sucks. I mean, what are you going to do? Bottom line. Apparently his wife does She was breaking his chops and he tied her up. <laughs> he taped her up. <laughs> Screwed up. Oh my God, that's too funny. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to check out our premiere of the most dramatic Bachelorette season ever. The best. Wait till you see this with Trish Ald. You know Trish? I know Trish. And we'll be right back with the best comic on the East Coast, Corey Rodriguez. Yeah. Steal tonight. Spread your wings. Mazda. Feel alive. gentlemen thank you all so much for joining me on this journey I worked really hard for this opportunity and I'm really proud of myself for being here and putting myself out here in front of all of you to find an opportunity to share rent with someone did I tell you I own a few single families as well from all the commissions I make not a big deal. I've been selling Mazdas for health 20 years now, man. They didn't do a great job selecting the gentleman, but I'm gonna work with what we have here today. Hey, my name's uh, Dave. Uh, I, I used to work at a, a brewery. Um, you know, apparently people have different definitions of what constitutes an American pale ale, but hey, I'm over it. Um, Dave? Get him the hell out of here. He is literally a loose cannon. I should, you know, just... You know, to get everything out there, I do live in my parents' basement. Um, I'm getting a nano brew going, though. I completely understand what I signed up for, and I know that this show is about entertainment, but Dave, he needs some real help. Hi, I'm Jason. I'm an investment banker from New York City. Um, I came on the show just looking for, like, a normal girl. A lot of the girls in town are just party chicks. They're drinking their lives away, and they don't have aspirations. <laughs> no, he's not my dad. <laughs> you know, I self... CX3, CX5, CX9, I sell sports cars, and I gotta be honest with you, I've seen these guys. You know, this is, this is gonna be the chance for me, you know? I'm gonna find love. I'm gonna find my wife. I know it. <laughs> it's been three days, and I just truly believe that you've all opened yourselves up for me to see all sides of you. Especially Jim, who had a panic attack in the hot air balloon this week. Thank you. 
it's interesting here. I mean, you know, I went to a fraternity and some of those guys were out of control, but these guys have like legitimately diagnosable problems. Tonight is going to be an extremely emotional rose ceremony. And I just want to thank all of you gentlemen for being here with me throughout this journey. As you all know, Chad tried to throw me down a flight of stairs. And he's no longer here. People come into my lot, they leave with a car. Let's, I mean, are you shitting me? You see Chad, guy's got nothing. It's a little annoying to me, you know. Just, you know, I think Paige has given Chad a little, a little unwarranted attention. I think it's a bit uncalled for, and yeah, it kind of pisses me off. It does, because all us guys are drinking heady ass beers, and Chad is drinking fucking Bud Light. Let me tell you another thing. I don't feel comfortable being in the house with Chad, okay? I, you know, I, I'm an adult male, but he threw her down a flight of stairs, and she just started laughing and making out with him. You're gonna stand there, get angry, for all these people, for all the cameras, you're gonna lose your shit here? It's just fucking insane! Ugh, Dave, such a fucking little pussy. Like, dude, get out of your parents' basement, get a fucking job, get health insurance, like, I... I'm Dave's land parents' landlord. He lives in the basement. Sabian has asked me three times to buy a Mazda. Like, have some respect for the institution of the bachelor! We're supposed to remain calm, have fun! Hey, Dave, PSA, maybe a few Bud Lights wouldn't hurt your goddamn bank account, all right? I always knew that I was the type of girl who would fall in love on a camel. And I just truly feel that you get to know someone's soul while riding a hot air balloon over the Indonesian mountains. She was allowed to pick the challenge this week and she wanted to do a water displacement test where each contestant had to do a squat over a two liter of Pepsi to see how much. It was really embarrassing. Mark, you were so sweet when the condom broke. I could totally see us going through an abortion together. And I could tell that she's family oriented and that's what's important to me because when I got up to use the bathroom she actually texted my mom um, she asked my mom if I was hung she took my phone and kind of went through it can we please just take a break like I, I need a break one of these guys is a fucking level three sex offender I've dated a level two but I'm not going three I have standards Next comedian is representing Milton, Massachusetts. Please welcome to stage Mr. Corey Rodriguez. Yes, yes. You guys are looking at me like that guy doesn't look like a Rodriguez right there. That's <laughs> Corey Johnson right there. Who is that guy? <laughs> Yes. Corey Rodriguez, right. how you doing? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Listen, my feelings have been hurt since January. Why You're supposed to be on our show, and you blew uh, us off with Conan O'Brien. You're bringing that up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a setup. Yeah, uh, yeah, man, it, uh, it worked out. It, it, it went pretty good. It went pretty good. I got confused on which studio to go to. I would have come here, <laughs> guys, if I would have known. I mean, this is a little nicer than Conan. No, it is. It is. Um, no, it's not. It's, it's cool, though. It's definitely, uh, it's on par. What does, does he have? Does Conan what? have John's Roast Beef coming in catering the show? I don't nope. think so. No. Nope. And what does he have over us? Uh, just, uh... Did he put makeup on you? He did. He, somebody... You don't need did. makeup. No, no, I do need makeup. No, you don't no, need No, 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 no. I need a little makeup just for a couple. They always tell me I have nice skin, though, when I get my makeup done. Right. Which is beautiful. They right. do. Yeah. Girls yes. and guys tell you that. Uh, both. Right. Yeah. Is there any less uh, effective if a guy's telling you have nice skin? I'm just wondering. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if somebody put makeup on me, then I would realize like how to put makeup on, and then I would just always be putting makeup on. I, I would feel like I had to. I thought you wore makeup. I... <laughs> This is a fake beer. But I like hey, hey. I, I like your name, Corey Rodriguez. But I feel like you should be like a Javier or like a Mateo. Yeah, you know, because yeah, but it's Corey. <laughs> but <that's> Corey. 
<laughs> you feel like I should be Javier? <laughs> <laughs> So every time I turn around, you're on social media you're all over the place. Alaska, Utah, Caribbean. What's going on? <laughs> Throw Utah in there. Yeah, I know. It's funny. People, the funny thing about going to Utah is, is I, I did this thing called uh, Dry Bar, which is like um, clean comedy. Right. And I do a lot of it for the Mormons and stuff. It's the only place I've ever went to that people warn me. And I'm like, why the fuck are you guys warning me? They're like, you're going out there with the Mormons. And I'm like, what's the problem? They're like, you're going out there with the Mormons. Be careful with the Mormons. I'm like, what do they do to you? Like, at the first, I've been out there three times. Now. I'm going back again in July. They, they like me. They don't do anything to me I besides just, fucking so the, laugh. So it was all shallow. There was no reason to warn you. No, but people act like they're going to abduct you and be like, you got to believe or some shit. I don't know why people warn you when you're going to go yeah, it's, chill yeah. with Mormons. How but are for a comedy crowd? Like, Great. You know there's like a specific, like that's. Man, you, there's a lot of shit you can't say. Yeah. Like, what about right like there, polygamy like, jokes? I didn't fuck with any of that. No, no. <laughs> Before you do your special, like I did a dry bar special, which was just a clean comedy special. Before you do that special, they tell you, they give you, they send you like a video that's like. It rocked, by the way. I, I, thank I, you. I saw it. I loved it, dude. Thank you. They send, they send you a video and it's like, don't do any of this shit. And basically, you just have to be. I'd love it if they swore in their Queaky email. Clean. Don't do any of this fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, don't do any of this motherfucking <laughs> shit right here. No, no. But they. <laughs> but like, could you do squeaky. a birthday joke? Uh, you know, they didn't say anything about birthdays. It's fine. But for instance, let me give you an example. I'm filming a special. Oh, oh I didn't even think about that. I'm filming a special, and I don't even get what that even fucking means. That's well, like how much I little they, I know. They, they, they don't, don't celebrate, celebrate birthdays. Anything. Oh, so yeah, yeah. They didn't say, say, yeah. say that. Yeah, they didn't say. I mean, they, you know, that <laughs> you took it kind of rationally when I said that without the context. You yeah, like, but oh, I had no, no idea what it meant, <laughs> so I just was gonna roll with it like I do. <laughs> Fuck it, man. Good man. Yeah. So here's what happened though. I'm filming a special, and at one point somebody goes, uh, like I was like, oh, I was upstairs. Uh, you know, I was doing this joke about someone breaking in the house, and I was like, oh, my girlfriend was upstairs, and then this lady in the crowd, like, yells out to her, says to her daughter rather loudly, he means his wife. Like, because you can't have... I'm filming a special, and this really? lady says it out loud, because you're not supposed to have any oh, uh, living premarital, living together, any nothing. Old school. Drugs, he none of that shit. Wife. She goes, he means his wife. Like, and we're like, oh, we won't use that. That means cut. they were paying attention. They were very attentive. Oh, they were real time editing. editing. Did they laugh? Yeah. No drink. Yeah, they laughed at everything, but no drinking. No, the the, the place they had uh, the big thing was soda. Which someone told me they didn't even supposed to have soda, but they had it. It was uh, soda and candy. These are the bad boys of Mormons. <laughs> Listen, but they fucking are great people. I don't, I'm going back out there. I love you guys. Awesome. I'm tuning in right now. <laughs> Anyways. Good skiing out there, too, I heard. Uh, yeah. I, Mormons I actually it. make up 38% of our viewership. <laughs> Skiing's yeah. awesome out there. Yeah. So, good what are you, a snowboarder? No, no, no. Nope. I ski mostly ski on the, uh, on the diamonds, the black ones. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Alaska. Alaska's awesome. Really? Alaska is, uh, I've been to Alaska now probably six times. Have you gone out when it's summer? Yes, and when it's and cold and hot I've been there. Oh. I've been there where your brain's fucked. Because, well, can I say that? I already said it. Yeah. Where you, I already <laughs> said motherfucker. I said motherfucking earlier. And I'm like, can I say yeah. Yeah. This is wet bar comedy. You can do whatever yeah. you want. Just oh, okay, don't insult Italian people. This is tip okay. bar comedy. Right. Anything else. <laughs> anything else goes. Don't, don't insult Italian people. You guys are fucking karate kicking people earlier. <laughs> anyway. Like, Jesus, what am I here doing? Right now. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, you wish you were back with Conan, huh? Yeah. Okay. Alaska is cool, man. Like, it, it, it just blows your mind because, like, crazy. at 10 Beautiful. o'clock at night, you know, it looks like 5 o'clock in the afternoon. That's crazy. You Jesus. know, so your brain is just like, what's going on? It's like, um, but it's cool. Eagles are there like pigeons. Yep. You know, you're hanging out there. You're like, man, it's an eagle right there. Wow. You know, it's, just, it's just cool. And the people are, it's awesome. I mean, I, whatever. I was a crucial people. It wasn't like I was... Walking around the city, just meeting all these random people. Yeah. It, was, it was good. Show me your town elders. Yeah, <laughs> I need to speak with the man with the best story. They do. They do. It is. It is legit though. There's bears that are uh, just around. Like when you're in the city. I was in Juneau, and I stayed overnight to meet the ship. One of the days, I flew to Juneau. Had to wait one night, and they were like, "Hey, you might want to get in before it's too late because you know the bears are known to just be in town." <laughs> When it's dark, it's like a bear curse. So they like just hang out, out with you? No, they <laughs> fucking kill you. They don't oh, hang out with you. They're Jesus. like, they're like. So you should probably not just be roaming around you know, at night. That's so. nuts. Yeah, it's like picking up jerky to bring home. It's like nobody <laughs> told you get in before nine. I feel like I'm a huge nature pussy too. Like I feel if I'm confronted with any kind of an animal, even though I'm much larger than it, I'm scared shitless to be oh, confront over. to be confronted with a bear. Yeah. Oh. If I was confronted with a deer, fuck that. Like yeah. a deer. I'm scared, of, I'm scared of mice. Dude, <laughs> I, so, 
<laughs> coyote, coyotes are a new thing around here. And I was talking to one of my friends, and I was like, dude, I'm like, I opened up the back door the other night. I went out on my deck, and there was a fucking coyote on the deck. I'm like, How I big? am petrified uh, from the ground. It came up to like just. About like my ch little bit lower than my nipples. That's not a coyote. That's, that's something bigger. That's, that's fucking, like a that's wolf. A, that's a wolf. It was that's fucking. Not a <laughs> 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 like a Game of Thrones. That's not a coyote. That's yeah, like the <laughs> dire wolf. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I was like, it's well, a it's a Rottweiler. Yeah. Right. I, I guess I, I guess I can't ever go out at night again. Is kind of like how I felt. But my buddy was like, dude, it's just a coyote. They're scared of you. And I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking petrified of them. Yeah. Like, yeah. Dude, like I, n dude, nature is, dude. You don't, I don't want to fuck with wild nature. animals. You just, you know, they're wild animals. Yeah. Yeah, well, deer, so wild they, animals. Someone told me a deer will just hoof the shit out of you. Like I didn't know. I was like, what do they do? Because they're scared. Because they have yeah. those. They have the little chicklet teeth, right? But yeah, they'll just yeah. get on their hind legs and be like, oh, yeah. and yeah. just <laughs> hoof the fuck out of you, it's and you're done. Did you hear about deer. Corey? Anything that lives Got the in the shit woods kicked is out of by us. two deer. By two deer, deer but, or does, right? Do does. Does. Two does. Those things run so freaking fast. They run like deer. The camera just—it's not. Yeah, it adds on to You look good. I wore black on purpose. What about the Caribbean? So you were down the Caribbean too? That wasn't even a joke, you assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Boston. Anyways, what? <laughs> you were down the Caribbean too? Yeah. Where'd you go? The Caribbean's great. Uh, I, I, everywhere in the Caribbean. It sounds stupid, but I've been there a lot of times already. So, you know, uh, Jamaica and, and Curacao and Aruba, and Grand Turks and C Grand Cayman and all those places a bunch of times already. So if it's and I feel bad. Oh, go ahead. A, I'm sorry. If it's on a cruise ship, you you're meeting people from like all across the country, right? Yeah. So you get like a nice mix of like who's the dumbest part of the country? <laughs> <laughs> the mm. south. Midwest. I would say good. I don't get to I don't <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right here. I, mean, yeah. I want yeah, I want to say some clever shit here, but no. I mean really really we always say that about people. We're always like just so fucking dumb, just so bad. but they, I mean people whatever. They're fine. They I don't know. I like them. I like all the different people that I meet, right? I could say some crazy shit right now, right? To just be making something up, but I can't right now. Like, they really are. Like, I, I haven't been like if you had like that's one. Because you're great at what you do, that's why. Yeah, well, I just I haven't met anybody like right. like super dumb, but I will say. Have you been to Revere? <laughs> 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 yeah, see that's well, the home. I didn't add it. I didn't. I add grew up there before, before you get on your Boston. fucking Facebook town council page. I fucking <laughs> love Revere. <laughs> I will say this, I do feel bad when I'm walking around like the Caribbean because like I'm literally dropping jerk chicken bones on people's vacation destinations. Because <laughs> I've been there so much and people like spend so much time to try to get there and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just dropping bones out there and they're laying out there like, I've saved up all year. <laughs> I'm like, I've been here six times for like an hour. So I'm going to give you credit, you bring in the best guests. Can we give us all a little round of applause here? Yeah. <laughs> It's the best John, you don't bring too much to the table yourself, but the people you bring bring a lot. <laughs> well, you just said you're a pussy, a nature pussy, but I just—I'm a nature pussy. I'm a huge nature pussy. I just think you're a pussy. All right, um, tell us about the comedy on cruise ships. Mm. You did a lot of that, right? Yes, do a lot of that. So, cruise ship comedy is, is again—it's clean, older people, old heads. Uh, it's uh, you know, it's it's. You just gotta keep. You just gotta clean it up, man. That's it. The, the biggest compliment that I'll get after after a, a cruise ship show is, uh, "You was you was you was so clean." Oh yeah. <laughs> because first of all, I'm black. They think I'm gonna go out there and be like, "What's up, motherfucking bitches?" <laughs> right? They think. So when these old white people don't hear me swear and they're laughing at all this other content, and they're like, "I can relate." They come up after and they're just like, "Oh man, you know, I've never had so many." Ministers and pastors and reverends and priests and everything come up to me after a show and be like, "Yo, this is this is it." But the thing with me is, it's like I do both. So like, I'll have, I'll have like my uncensored album that I have out, my CDs, you know, out. I'll be like, I got my uncensored version of some of the things we talked about tonight and some other stuff outside. And then a lot of the people will come out and be like, "Why do you have anything uncensored? This is it." And then other people will be like, "I'm glad you got some shit other than that shit you were doing in there. Thank you." <laughs> that's the that's the thing is like. You got to be good on a cruise ship because you're stuck on the cruise ship. You got to see those people, right? Like you're living in a community at that point, right? It's the most pressure you ever feel. Well, I don't want to say ever feel, but it's a lot of pressure to feel as a comedian because you are stuck with those fucking people. Right. So unless you sit in your room. <laughs> for a lot seven of days. For seven days. A lot of comedians just stay in their room. They just, they, they pop out when no one, they know no one's eating. They go, they grab their shit. They go back to the room, <laughs> like in twiddle their thumbs and hopefully they have Wi-Fi. But like, you know, like I go out and I'll, I'll be out and about. And sometimes it sucks because 
you'll know like people they don't hold back they don't hold back so they'll be like <laughs> we're we, daiquiris all day right well so they'll say shit to you like they'll be <laughs> yeah. like we can't wait to see you we loved you that first night now you got all that fucking pressure because they're like we loved you that for we can't wait we told everybody we're gonna be back sitting right up front we're gonna be right up front right up front blah 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 and then after they see you that second time they're like we liked you better the first night <laughs> so it's like ah they're never 100 percent. do you hang by the pool sipping margaritas in, in a banana hammock no. <laughs> 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 I I sometimes hang by the pool sipping margaritas with a banana hammock. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on cruise. If you've never been on a cruise, though, cruises are awesome, fun. Everything's inclusive. You can eat as much as you want. There's a lot of stuff to do. You know. I mean, Women it's gonna be cool for you. Comedy. Yeah, banana, I, banana hammock, I just, because I just be going along with shit sometimes. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck I'm going to say. <laughs> but banana hammock is just tight underwear, right? That's just yeah, the little no, speedos. No, no, you wear like an well, extra small one on purpose, yeah, I heard. So what is banana awesome. hammock? The banana boat kind of droops down a little bit more, I think. No, it's like, it's oh, so they're like loose tidy whities It's no, not holding it there, it's showing it off. Yeah, that So like speedos. Like what Arnold used yeah, to wear. Yeah, speedos kind of like. Like what Arnold wears is a competition. I think a banana hammock is a speedo. I can see you wearing one of those. I think, no, I think a speedo. Is what you wear swimming That's what so everybody wears from other countries. A banana hammock is what you wear to show everybody <laughs> yeah. that you can hang. They all wear that shit. <laughs> it, let's, it's a water displacement test. Let's get it going right now. Yeah. I'm up. Uh, a water do you look, when you're on a cruise ship, do you look uh, to see the pubes coming out the sides of people's... Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, you can't help to miss them. Do you like look like? Would, would you look? Would you look back twice? Would you be like, "Whoa, they're really coming out"? Three times. I'll Three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just was wondering. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because sometimes I would. I'm like, "What's wrong with me?" I'm like, "Oh, the man, I love Monday really binoculars." Cool. What do we got? A we have a score on the Bruins game. One nothing Blues. Oh boy, that's lousy. Yeah. Right. So I heard you're going to be doing a creative uh, something creative up here with the Breaking Balls team. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be good. It's, it's going to be a great group, man. I can't wait. That's I can't awesome. wait to get back in the studio. If you guys are going to bring those wings back, mm -hmm. cook yeah. them a little bit more well done, and I'll fucking come. We'll back have and them here. Every <laughs> <laughs> you like them well done? Yeah, well, I, I, I like them done. So fucking Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I like them well done too. Yeah. Kluski, what do we got? We got something about OJ. Yeah, uh, they recently tried to um, unretire his number. Somebody on the Buffalo Bills wants it. And Did you um, no. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody else wants his number thirty-two. Yeah. Or like, there's a rookie coming up or something like that. So they're unretiring his number. Can you un is it is it their unretire? You would unretire their number. You would put it back out. I mean, I'm surprised back. he's still in the Hall of Fame. To be honest with you. Well, I think they didn't throw him out. Do they take people out? Yeah, that's well, what that's I don't. Like, no one's ever been taken out of Hall of Fame. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so, but I mean, Pete Rose still isn't in it. How right? bad the guy was innocent to be, to be taken out. He was he was proved innocent. I'm not he saying was he was. Yeah, right. No, but yeah, I mean, he was proven innocent, huh? Who murders but like, all right. Yeah, but so, I mean, they didn't prove shit. All right, here's the I mean? thing: murders aside, okay. Now the next guy in the Hall of Fame is the guy, but the other guy, like if, if it was a home run contest, right? And mm -hmm. you disqualified a guy from the Hall of Fame because he had 850, but he murdered somebody. The right. next guy who has the most home runs doesn't have the most home runs. Yeah, but still, that guy with 850 home runs was the best tainted fucking home run hitter yeah. ever. It's like he, he is. is tainted. I don't know. The I guy think, was a great football player. I, yeah, and I think if you if that's the case and there's an asterisk next to your name, I think it should be like a 32A, 32B. They should put the little what letter are we next doing to bra it. Bra sizes? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I'm saying it was a 32B. No, no. I'm saying if it's asterisk. controversy, and you really want with that the number. Asterisk. I want. Huh? I want to know everything that happened, and yeah. everybody can make their own decisions about whatever. But I mean, you're unretiring the jersey. Aren't you just drawing more attention to the jersey now at this point? Well, who's? This is my thing. Who's? You like, know what? You're I want to live on that right. legacy of OJ. Yeah, you're kind of right. You're making a big deal out of it. If it's you know, if it's a big deal, I don't know. Do you guys think OJ murdered? His ex-wife there? From what I understand, all evidence points towards that, but I never actually followed the, uh, the trial all that Don't get me going on this shit, because here does we go. You, does it make you crazy? No, well, what makes me crazy about it is <laughs> Dove don't fit, right? No, what makes me crazy about this kind of stuff is that... I think he we, was innocent. We always pick and choose. We pick and choose which way we want to go. Well, one time people would be like, the legal system said he was found not guilty. And then I other people would be like, they're fucking dumb. The legal system doesn't know what's up. So he was guilty. All Everything leads that way. And it, so it's like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't, in my opinion, I think, I think you know, everything think, Everything uh, happened like it was supposed to happen. I think, so it, I think his son did it. A lot of people said that too. Because yeah. his son was a chef. 
His son had these His knives, and he got killed with these. With the, yeah, I never heard that. Well, it's a it's a it's a crazy theory we heard out it, there. But you didn't hear it. There's a crazy theory out there with the with the son that he was a chef. See, I think that a lot of people just automatically bury OJ. Like, up, oh, he's absolutely guilty no matter what. Yeah, I'm like, I know. I look, look, put, look, I didn't listen the the grinder grinder of like to the fucking to the TV facts was of the case, out of control. It became like, a but show but before from what it was I understand, even a trial. It was everything ridiculous. pointed towards him. That's. But Listen, he was an arrogant guy, but so, I mean, he was cocky, but the guy was great. Although, so since, my, since then, he's come out with that whole entire thing, like, what if I did it? That's a little my, hard to I have, ignore. I have a bigger question here, okay? All right, so we unretired the number 32. He was number 32, right? Yeah. At what point are we just going to not have sports anymore? Because all of the numbers, the, you're not going to have 11 I got, numbers I got, left I got a, to I got have a, a guy solution. on the team We just anymore. put a 1 in front of it, and now we're on to 101, 102. Uh, we're never going to run out of the numbers to it have won't. sports. In no. Boston, we in might Boston, have got so many pistol athletes. Not in our lifetime. No. Not in our even lifetime. if they had to start wrapping the numbers around the body, you're oh, going to run all out right, of no, numbers. But I'm saying two-digit, single-digit numbers. You're going to run out of, oh. like... So, uh, you yeah, know didn't you always want to be... easy solution. When no, I grew up, make, I wanted to be yeah. my hero's number. I wanted to be number 11 or be number 12. Why can't you do it like that? It's a number. You own 12? Plus get a yeah. That's, yeah. that's the idea of it. Oh, okay. You know what I think sports. is great? I'm just wondering. I'm like, yeah, I don't yeah. know how to answer this. <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember David Wells? Uh, <laughs> it's like the Yankees? Oh, of course, of course I do. Does. David <laughs> Wells, when he got to the Yankees, he asked Pitcher. to get number three out of retirement from, uh, he was like, it's Babe Ruth. Oh, Ruth. He was like, yeah, like Babe Ruth. That's He's a like grown a man who will see infinitely more money than I will ever see going, oh, number 14. I just think it's great that he uh, had the balls to go and ask the Yankees to take Babe balls. Ruth's phone number. I have a phone number. Babe Ruth's uniform number out of retirement. <laughs> that takes a lot of balls. What's the next one we got, Klusk? Uh It's an OJ-themed one. Apparently, back in the day, he banged Chris Kardashian so hard that he broke her hip. <laughs> wow. That's an actual... That, that's a fact? That's what I heard. That's a fact. Is that a fact or is that a... It's apparently a fact. It's an OJ quote. They used to hang out all the time, the four of them right there. Yeah. And the girls said they love it. Uh, the but Kardashians didn't, didn't he say something like, I broke her or something? I hit it till I broke it, I think was the he quote. He said, I, I hit it till I broke it. I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, before we go crazy, though, does she, how are her hips? Does she have fucked up hips? Do we know that now? <laughs> like, if she has, like, weak hips or something, and people are like, oh, she always her hips always displace... Then it's not like he did anything special. Yeah, but uh, you got to think. Being an NFL <laughs> athlete, you should have to sign a disclosure. I mean, this is like, this guy's got strength. She, she's. You have strength. No, fuck. I, you don't act like he's just monstering through pussy. Like, you have <laughs> you have strength, too. It's not just like, oh, it's all coming from the midsection. If you put me trying to return a kick in a football game, I would be dead. If you what? If I tried to return a kick in an NFL football game, I would be dead. With that attitude, yeah. Just run the other way. I know I would. Just run the other way. But, I mean, OJ did a lot of bad things to a lot of women, supposedly, from what we hear. I was never there. I didn't witness it. I mean. But I don't think. Do you think he was isolated pumping until he broke her hips? I think purpose? he's making that up. I would. That's a lie I would make up. Oh, I broke this bitch's hip when I was fucking her. <laughs> that does, I don't think this is. I think that's. I would be in my memoir, like, making up. Oh, this girl from Canada you never met. I fucked her so hard. She, she sprained her ankle. Yeah, she was she running she away. Sprained her ankle. <laughs> but the, the woman did have to go to the hospital after she had sex with OJ in, in the hot tub when. Their spouses went to bed. Supposedly, is a story. This so, is we're talking about. Yeah, the Chris Kada- Kardashian. The Kardashians yeah. and, and OJ. Yeah, but Kardashian. It is kind of weird. Got OJ you... off. Yeah, you know. That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so did I mean, Chris. Yeah, <laughs> they both did. Yeah, so. <laughs> it is really weird yeah. when you think True. about like those four people in that picture became such a big part of American culture for like five consecutive years. Like no, no, just, right now, still, still we're still talking right about. It, but uh, Corey Rodriguez is talking about OJ right now. Yeah, He's still you guys, we're still bringing up right. OJ. Well, you guys put me on the bring up fucking Kardashian? OJ. Kardashian. <laughs> She's the first female billionaire, billionaire. or something. Or why are we talking about this right now with me here? Last week, <laughs> did you talk about OJ you know? with Trisha? Why did you talk about this shit <laughs> <Yeah>. with Trisha? <laughs> If Kardashian didn't represent OJ, then his family wouldn't even be popular right now. Right. If you think about it, right? True. That's very you true. So they, he helped put him on the map. He did. Let's talk about some white fuck ups. <laughs> 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 There's like five of them up here right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, the guy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Got any Harvey Weinstein shit in there? <laughs> <laughs> What's the next one, Klusk? Yeah. Uh, we have jail mail. We can go to jail mail. What about, don't we have something about Corey with is Denzel? Ask Denzel. Oh, uh, yeah, all right. I'm on the wrong page here. <laughs> Good job, Klusk. Send some, send some Denzel questions in. Whoever, 
All my breaking balls, people, send your Denzel questions in to... Uh, do you want to do an experiment so that people know what kind of a question to ask if I gave you one now? They can ask now? me anything. Ask me whatever you I want to hear Denzel. about this Denzel All right, thing. here we go. What kind of advice would you give as Coach Boone from Remember the Titans um, about the story that we just talked about, about banging somebody in a hot tub? What are the, what, what, be, being careful when you bang somebody in a hot tub. Come over here, son. Let me talk to you. <laughs> Sit down in the tub. Sit down. Don't take your feet out. Let your legs cook. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to me that you uh, that you you penetrated Chris's uh, insides a little deeper than they should have been penetrated. <laughs> now we have to go to the hospital. You're making it obvious, son. Okay. What I'm going to need you to do is go get Bertier. Let him drive you to the hospital. <laughs> Bertier's from, uh, all right, whatever. So <laughs> anyway, send your questions in. Uh. Send your questions in to me, and, and Denzel answers all questions, whatever Denzel that is. You lost me on Bertier, what's your, what's your and then when you explained it, I thought it was fucking fantastic. <laughs> I forgot that was one of the people. I was what's like, your favorite Denzel movie? Oh, my God. Uh, my favorite Denzel movie, I mean, God, it's so it's so, uh, it's so clicky. It's Training Fire. Day. Training Day is great. Man on Fire is fucking great. Uh, there's, so, there's so many. It's good. Right. It's like I love, I love, I listen. I love bourbon. I love, I love bakers. I love Basil Hayden. I love, uh, I love. Uh, I mean, makers is that? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's good. But I'm saying, I'm saying that to say I love a lot of Denzel movies. So um, yeah, I mean, I like John Q. John Q. Sick help. My son sick. He needs help. Huh? You going to get him a heart? Huh? <laughs> you going to take my heart? Take my heart. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was a good movie. Yeah, right. that, that was, was a great movie. Yeah. I, do love, Sick I do love Training Day, though. Hmm? Training Day is my favorite. Training Day is yeah. great. Yeah. Training Day Wasn't shit. he around here recently, Denzel? Yeah, he was. Seen How long that ago? Shit. Have you met yeah. him? Did you ever meet him? Yeah, Book of Eli, Fences. Yeah. It's great. Book of Eli wasn't my favorite, but it was like, it was out of out of the Denzels, you know what I mean? It was like, ah, it's okay. And Fences, you know, Fences was cool. But, you know, I just always. Huh? Yeah. Spoiler. Yeah, 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 right. Right. <laughs> right. We're going to take a quick break, and you're going to see the dramatic conclusion of The Bachelorette. And we'll be back with Corey Rodriguez. In a I'll be minutes. back. I'll be here. He'll be here. Denzel. This is a firm specializing in financial planning, insurance, and retirement income. Setting up your future can be tough, but Analytic Wealth is here to simplify the process, taking you from before and through retirement with clarity and focus. Time to feel confident about your future. Experience the reimagined Mazda 3. S uh, Sib Sabine? Sabine? S Mazda guy. I really appreciate how open and honest you've been. I can tell you're a really sensitive guy. And thank you for sharing your medical history with me. Full transparency is very important. I don't think I needed to know that you have herpes this early on. Whoa, hold on. You, you were digging for pills in the back of my Mazda when you found the Valtrax. Well, I'm trying to be very thorough. Trust is very important in a three-year lease. Can we compromise, maybe? Yeah, yeah. We'll work on it. Um, Sabine? S Sabian. Sabian. Okay. Um, real quick, my dad's kind of racist. Can we just call you Joe? Jason. Hi, Paige. Jason, you are by far, by leaps and bounds, the most financially stable man here. You actually have a career which I really appreciate and respect. I'm really sorry for that reason that I got so, so intoxicated during one of our dates that I threw up. Thank you, that's all I was looking for. And I obviously did not expect you to walk in on me blowing that guy. You, you were blowing that guy? I didn't realize I like, you were blowing the guy. You, everybody said that you blew the guy from craft services and I told them that they were lying. I think that rose ceremony should be about starting fresh. I want to start over, Jason. I really can see us being together in the end of this. 
Jason, will you accept this rose? I guess. Dave. Hey. Dave, thank you so much for leaving your passion project to be here. I know how much it means to you. You talk about it all the time. I am sorry that you got so angry that I don't drink beer. We don't share that passion, but I do think that we can find some other things that we are both passionate about. I promise? Yes. Thank you. Even though we're both completely financially unstable, I do think that if we put ourselves together, we could get you out of your parents' basement. And honestly, I was absolutely floored by your mother's response to my text. I was not expecting a dick pic. I usually like to run the by her. She has a great eye for, t for photography. I'll try to be more understanding about the beer thing. So, Dave, will you accept this finely brewed pale ale? Stop. I know this might be crazy, but what? I feel like there's something here. Something beyond just the show, the cameras, the lights. There's real love here. Okay, Dave. Paige. This is not the time. This is Paige. the first rose ceremony. It's the first one. Will I'm you not be ready. my I'm wife? Not Will you? Can we get some help? What? What? It's not time. What? This is love! I need this! I need this! So that's our first episode of The Bachelorette. Yeah, there's going to be more coming. This is this is big, you know this what I'm saying? This season's going to be incredible. The whole fucking country watches this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Trisha Ald eats candy in bed. That cannot be confirmed nor denied. <laughs> How many times have you been told you look like 50 Cent? Just now, just... <laughs> <laughs> no way. You've heard that a few times, right? Fat Kevin Hart. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 50 Cent. Usually most older white people say Mike Tyson because we look nothing alike, but they just see <laughs> a stocky black dude and they're like, Mikey Tyson! He's probably Asian black dudes call me know. Mikey Tyson! Right. Yeah, they oh, always shit. call me Mikey Tyson. So we, have, uh, we, had, we get jail mail. So there's people from jail send stuff into us. Okay. Carlos relatives. Um, <laughs> first one Some of them. No, 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 so, no, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. This is some real shit. Yeah. So you guys get jail mail. So who's getting into? Or just some jail they mail? You guys it, they email. People that watch the show. They email it to us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's listen. <laughs> 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 I just want to know what's happening here. Let's see some of my people's out there. Let's go. Yeah. The first letter written on toilet paper we got is from Stephanie. She was arrested last year for cutting paper. the brake lines on her ex-boyfriend's Camaro. <laughs> She's been following the show, and she loves the co-hosts Cat and Don Zolo. She said she'll be out in 15 to 18 months, and she wants to know if Mr. Monday can hook her up with one of the hot co-hosts. So she likes Cat and Donnie Zolo? Yeah, I'll take her. That means she likes homosexuals. Yeah. It does. I mean, the, <laughs> is she a lesbian? Uh, <laughs> evidently, if she likes Cat. <laughs> well, yeah, but she likes you too, so... Yeah, um, she goes both ways. She's fucking, she's playing both sides of the coin. She hasn't seen everybody that's come onto the show yet. Either. I mean, Kate, so I can. Let her I, write I, in again. <laughs> Steph, I can see if Cat will manhandle you. That I'll is a I'll pretty try to, sexy photo. I know, she has dreamy eyes. Girls but I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to check with Cat to see if she's attracted to her, because Cat's kind of picky. Donnie, are you picky? It's, she met, meets my standards, it's yeah. not even close. Like, it's not even a thing. Like, that's, yeah, she's great. She's Sign great. her up. <laughs> I no, want to marry you. You could leave a map of Hawaii right next to the number on her back. <laughs> Do you think that she's having lesbian relationships in jail with inmates, or she's being with like jail gods, it's, men? What's her uh, Ooh, that's a great question. Because <laughs> if you're a woman, what's you have judge? that option. If you're a woman, you can you can bang <laughs> guards. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to be like prison gay. 
Also, you guys, we live in a different world now, and I, I'd appreciate if you give the women more options than just the two that you gave. <laughs> she could just not be doing anything, too. Uh, Fucking she's, unbelievable, no, you monster! You guys are monsters. Corey, she's, uh, she's, going, she, no, she's, she's going. Away, she's going away for two weeks. There's no way you can put that on hold. <laughs> so you don't think she's doing anything? Huh? You don't think she's anything? No, she could be doing nothing. She could just be fucking waiting. She might I'd be, be the guy. I'd, I'd be the guy. She, I mean, she could be doing something to herself. But then sometimes in this, in, you're in the frame of mind where, like, I don't know. I mean, even as a dude, if you really got locked up, man, and you were like in there for, I don't know, if you're only gonna be in there for a short period of time, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe you have to still let one go. That's I, the last place to let one I would go. ever want to be, by the way. Yeah, but if you didn't have a cellie, have or you something, been to Chelsea? Jesus. All right. Wow. I know. Listen, I know. I'm not speaking from experience. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying that I don't know. I don't know if you. Are you really? Would you be excited to to pop one? If out? I was, if I was like a lesbian in in jail, I would. Would it be kind of like a kind of shitty summer camp with like you know? There's a bunch of girls. You, you go, I think you'd you do fine. You would do fine in jail, Klusky. By the way. I define fine. You would just be totally okay. Like okay. you know. <laughs> you know. Right. You don't have any problems. You'd be good. You'd slip right through. I get along with everybody. Yeah, I'm, you're fine. You know, you're like Eddie Esposito. Yeah. yeah, that goes a long way. <laughs> what's, where do we go? What's the Being next one? Being agreeable in prison, that goes very far. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is from Alfonso. He may not be able to this grow a true. mustache, <laughs> but he claims that the ladies love this. He was pushing pounds of Mary Jane in Southern California, but he could be getting out soon because the laws are changing. He said that uh, Corey on he saw Corey on Conan. He loved the bit, and he wants to know oh, if he'll be performing one. anytime in California. Oh my God, is that a real tattoo? Or is that like fake? I mean, ladies love it. Ladies love it. Look, here's the thing. Fuck, man. Am I performing in California? So this dude's real, man? You guys brought me in with some fucking killers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he found us through you. He wanted to talk to you. That's hey, a man. safe bet. You What's can throw a mustache. It's been two weeks that we've been promoting your show. Yeah, yeah. Alfonso, man, I'm glad. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, you, I definitely, when I'm in L.A., uh, you can be my wingman. As long as, uh, no, for sure. I mean, with the, with the thing with ladies loving on his lip is fucking great. Will you go visit it? Will you go visit him in jail? I'll send him some letters. Send the letters into the show and they'll forward them to me for sure. Because right now I don't have a place to live. I'm just in and out of this place, that place. So, uh, you know, just um, send them to them to here at the studio and we will, I'll be sure to respond. I'll give you his real address later. Don't worry. <laughs> you guys ready for another one? Yep. Yeah. The next is Casey in Pennsylvania. With a, no, with a look like this and the name Casey, we don't know if it's a guy, a girl, someone transitioning. That's their business. Oh my God. But what we want to know... What a head. We want to know is... Um, this person got so angry at their job that they blew it up. That's why they're in jail. Have you ever have you ever that, been that angry? I mean, Casey, yeah. what would your boss do to make you want to do this? Like, make you want to burn I want to help this guy a little bit. Burn I feel, feel sorry for him. He looks like off. Bozo the Clown. Look at his head. <laughs> I mean, I'd never want to blow anything up in my life, to tell you the truth. Hey. Not yet, anyway. It looks like, just Maybe I want to blow you up, Casey. You remember when, like, Daffy Jeez. Duck would, like, blow something, like a barrel, and it would, like, go, like, eh. I mean, when Casey gets out... You millennials. Casey, when you... Millennials. Casey, when you get out, come see me. I'll give you some addresses of some people that I don't like. You can go take care of them. Blow up their houses. I don't know. Casey's eyes are amazing, though. What kind of eye cream? He's, like, looking right through me right now. He's giving the shit out of me. eye cream? <laughs> Casey's, Casey's a woman, by the way. Oh, Casey's a woman. Casey's a woman. Uh, what do you mean? What, what, what about that little five o'clock shadow? I was gonna say, yeah, the five o'clock shadow is really the. He's a half and half. The poor guy, or girl. No, no, wait, wait, what's the what the? <laughs> <laughs> what am I into on this shit? <laughs> <laughs> you hey, man, I'm not even thinking. We got, we got a. I think we got one more. Yeah, we got one more, right? Go ahead. The She's last one is from Richard in man. Iowa. This guy was arrested for killing his wife in 2007. He says he's innocent. Uh, he says she was killed by holograms. I don't know if that's true, but Richard says he oh loves God, breaking Jesus balls. Christ. And he wants to help do some street team stuff inside the prison wall. So if we get yeah. him some stickers, some swag, he would help us build a fall. He says he's innocent. Aren't all inmates innocent? <laughs> don't they all say that? I mean, yeah. if holograms came to your house, what are you going to do? Let's send him stickers. Give him a case of stickers. Stick them all over the place. Stick them on your ass. Whatever you want, buddy. You can have them. They're all yours. We even have Mr. Monday condoms, too. We had some made. We'll send we those Dental to dams, too. we have the whole spread. <laughs> I know. Remember the dent? Yeah, we have dental dams and condoms. Holograms. He looks like he would say that shit. Too. <laughs> yeah. Do you think he just, when the cops came to his house, they said, like, they just, the wife's laying dead on the floor. He had had enough. They said, what happened? He just looked with a big fucking smile on his face, and he said, 
holograms. Do you think holograms <laughs> is the insanity plea though? Like, yeah, do you of think course. That's, like that's just yeah. the play. Like, it's like fuck this bitch. I'm, I'm out. Holograms. Holograms did it. did it. That'll be my. Album. Corey, tell us about some stuff you got coming up. You want to plug some of your stuff? What do you got? Yeah, get that crazy fucking dude off the <laughs> 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 like Holograms, What do you man. got? Co- we want to come go to some of your shows, or are you all over the country? Where are you going? I'm everywhere, man. Uh, you can see it at CoreyRodriguez.com. You can get an updated look at the schedule. Corey Rods at Corey Rods on Instagram. Um, C O R E Y R O D S. Um, I will be and check out the podcast. Thirty jobs later. Really awesome podcast that we do. I'm sure some of these guys will be on the podcast. Don has already been on the podcast. I've been on it. Yeah. Um, we do that out of. We do it everywhere. I really? just travel and, and do the podcast. Oh, that's great. Um, but uh, I will be uh, next week. I will, I'll be in Bermuda next week. Uh, and then um, uh, at the end of the month, I will be in... Um, I feel bad. I want to pull my phone out and look. I don't fucking know. Just go to the website. <laughs> <laughs> Corey Rodriguez. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I really am going to be a bunch of places, but I don't know. Busy. No, well, I mean, I know it, it seems like that, but I really don't know. I got a lot out. of content on there too, right? Yeah, so tons can of content. You out, get a feel of it. You can yeah. have a special and everything. Check right? out Ask Denzel. That check out the Ask Denzel. Make sure you guys do send Denzel a question. If you want to send me a question through Ask Denzel, either send it to my uh, Facebook uh, or send it to my um, Instagram. Can, uh, the Instagram. Jail, can the jail guy send it to? Uh, everybody else besides the jail <laughs> people can send it to my <laughs> <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> Or my Instagram. If you can do to do with the lip, Alfonso, if you can get him to send me some shit, I will answer Alfonso's question. But the creepy dude from Harry and the Hendersons and shit, I don't want that dude. I don't want the hologram dude. Fuck that That's dude. exactly who he looked like. I Jordan. couldn't think of who he was. It's Harry and the Hendersons. Lithgow. Yeah, 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 I don't, yeah, want, like that. I don't want that dude. Make sure you check out his Instagram, his Facebook, Twitter. You got Twitter too? Twitter, yep. At Corey Rodriguez. Um, check, hit me up on those things and uh, ask your Denzel questions. Anything you ask, Denzel answers. Um, and just send the video and just start it with, hey, Denzel, and then we go from there. Well, thanks for coming in tonight, man. Thank you. This was awesome. Was it as good as Conan? This was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Great job. Appreciate hey, we hate, we hate to see Monday come and go. This guy's killing it. Follow him on all social medias. Monday on three. One, two, three. Monday! Monday! <laughs> Let's go. It's Monday. Come on. Sing girl songs. Sing them. Monday. Making my Monday morning shake. First thing Monday, fill up some water. That's right. I don't like milk, almond milk, or any juices. I mean, what's better than doing a construction project right next to the New Deal Deli? I mean, come on now. You got to put these guys up in the top, I don't know, five, top three. Best sandwiches in the world. Monday! I don't know why Herbalife isn't sponsoring me. I mean, seriously, with a body and a brain like this, because of the Herbalife shakes. Monday! You. you know something? A lot of men would not sing songs sung by a woman. Mr. Monday, he will do that. Why? Because he has a pair of balls and he doesn't give a shit. You don't give a shit. You shouldn't care. Monday. I got bananas in here. I got, let me tell you something. Softball season. She swallows bananas a long way. Monday. Oh, yeah, you got the peppers up here. She's, she's angry about something. She's always mad about something. This one. Oh, shut the hell up. I'll kill you. <laughs> I love you. She threatened my life again. Every time I come here, my life is in jeopardy. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. He loves it. She hits like a girl. I could twist like somebody else. The boys are afraid of me. I sit and I go. I thought you tried it like you twist nuts. I thought maybe you twist somebody's nuts. Oh, no, I just break them. <laughs> Monday! Got me feeling emotion Deeper than I've ever dreamed of Whoa, whoa Come on, let's go! Monday! Oh yeah, oh that's delicious Come on Breakfast of Champions Breakfast of Mr. Monday. Monday! Love you guys. Oh. <laughs>
Guy loves a big provolone. Can't blame him. It's delicious. Monday! All right, clean the, clean the blender so the wife doesn't kill you. She's my wife. She'll take this blender and smash it off my head. And I, I can't say I blame her. Because I'm a son of a bitch. Guys won't sing female songs sung by females. They feel feminine. Not me! It makes me feel masculine and horny. Hello! <laughs> Let's go! I love Monday! Oh.